Well, we are here, here today at Filth Community Church in Ellsworth because you know me, you're on the road, you try and visit some local churches. This one here is definitely different. Huge parking lot, lots of parking. Look at that building. Looks like it was uh, after the fact. We're gonna go inside. If you're seeing this, that means I'm, I probably got some good video from inside because <laughs> you've just entered the cool slide. Church edition. Service is about to start here, and you can tell it is a different kind of church. It's uh, non-denominational, and uh, but I'll turn around real quick. <laughs> really nice facility. I like it. Oh, Obviously, Christian contemporary music. Kind of a setting though, they got the uh, children's area back that way. And they got a coffee shop over here. Pretty neat. Attendees and new members around the table to just present a little bit of our uh, approach to church, uh, talk about getting connected, getting fully engaged, and that kind of thing. So we had a chance to do that last month and then again last week. Uh, over two lunches, and we had 40 people join us, I think 40 or 42 people join us over those two lunches. And that's not everyone that's joined us in the last two years. So best we can tell, we've added 55 people in that time. So since we returned in person, we're permanently implanted into the body of Christ. By our faith, how? In the completed work of Christ, as our uh, uh, Jesus, as our Christ, our Savior, our Redeemer, but we are temporarily assigned to duty on this earth until we're ordered to report back up to HQ. Yeah. <laughs> this way before. I mean, life, I hope you're listening, as God originally intended. How many have ever read the first three chapters of Genesis? Mm -hmm. Or you're somewhat familiar with it, okay? Mm -hmm. That's how life was intended. Rich, full, complete, pure, satisfying, and listen to this, eternal. Amen. Death wasn't in that equation. service here. We actually have a worship service afterwards. It's a good, good venue though. Portable chairs. It's good. Well service is over and as a traditional church the, uh, the pastor's out there greeting people as they leave. Uh, you don't see that a whole lot in larger churches that's for sure. But you just you just can't. <laughs> I mean it's churches are too big but this one is still uh, a good size they said they get about 65% uh, of their uh, people that uh, you see on Sunday service oh, or should I say of their members about 65 show up regularly at Sunday service so so they do have a good uh, uh, good turnout here and uh, way they're set up it's a little different from ours and uh, uh, but hey we liked it it was a uh, same type of music we tend to listen to, but uh, next week they're gonna have a barbecue here. We may come back to that, or we may go to a different church, you never know. But uh, we're gonna let you go. Be sure to like and subscribe, and, uh, and send this to your church families. Maybe they can get some tips for how they can improve their church. Uh, and, but uh, I'll just let you go and leave it at that. Uh, I'm just out here living the coolest life, church edition.